Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Samuel and I am here to give to you a modding tutorial on how to use the new tool that I've released, the AMG Builder. First, you will need uh, to download the tool. This tool can be found in the tool upload section in the uh, Budokai modding server, just here, AMG Builder 1.0. This tool will allow you to build AMGs and AMOs in a much quicker and automatic fashion than what previous tools can do before. Once you upload the, uh, once you download the tool, it will um, open up from a zip folder, and then you will see these two folders here. One of them is Model Rig Toolset version 1. Uh, 0. 0.6, and the other just being AMG Builder. We will be using both these tools um, side by side uh, to create an AMG. If you open up um, Model Rig Toolset and the AMG Builder, you will see these files. With the exception of these files here, these will not be included with the uh, model rig toolset. Um, however, I will be using these as for the example here. Um, these are AMO and AMT files. Um, both can be found in any uh, Infinite World game, Budokai 1, and if you extract them appropriately from Budokai 2 and 3. Uh, this tool will only work with um, Budokai main series games, so this does not include Shin Budokai or uh, Dragon Ball Evolution, or perhaps even Burst Limit. What you need to do is create a folder for placing all your model parts. In this case, I've made a folder on desktop called New AMG. I've got this opened up here. You will then need to open up Model Extractor, and you'll see a window pop up like so. Um, this first model part I will be extracting will be Goku Super Saiyan 4's tail. So we just simply look for his tail texture. In this case, it's texture number 14. Um, the model part is located within the body bone, so I simply look at the select ID, which is 1, and look for the texture, which was 14, so we select ID 17. Hit enter, and that will be a complete. This will now be located in the data folder, where the model part and all the required rig data is. So I'll just copy this folder and place it in new AMG and rename it to just one. I will repeat this process once more for Vegito where I will be extracting his glove texture. Here we are, texture 12. So insert the file into the tool, look for the body bone Texture 12 here is um, select ID 10. Close the tool. Let's copy the folder into here, rename it to 2. And from here, we are able to build the AMG with just this. Um, however, I will also add Vegito's Pitara model parts, just as so usage of what this tool is able to do. Um, any Patara bones will do, so 6 for the right Patara. Oh, I seem to have chosen the left hand, well, this will work as well. Um, so select the first multi part, it's the only one there. This is the left hand. And for model parts, you can have them just outside um, the AMG folder itself. I'll just place this here for now. I'll rename this to left hand. And um, you will also need one more file, just a simple text document. I'm going to call this one bone names. And this will be a file that you can use um, to make the tool read the bones a lot easier. Um, for the bone names file, you will need the model ID for each bone, uh, which is as demonstrated here, located at the start of each bone name. So here we have uh, GOK body, GOK waist, and same again all the way down the bone list. Um, in this case, it can be any three letters you'd like, um, however I'll just use GOK as well. Uh, you do not need to add um, an underscore for any of this, just simply hit enter. Um, every bone, sorry, every AMG and AMO has a body bone, so simply just add that in. And then you will need to add the uh, bone names 
of whatever model parts you have. So in this case, I have left arm and right arm too. I will also add left hand. And then I will add the tailbone names. Uh, make sure you're specific um, with any model parts. Is there any bones that contain an extra uh, letter here? Some of it will be uh, M, some of it will be T, and you'll get other examples more so for faces and hands. Um, however, sometimes bones will have tail, uh, T and then tail as well. So simply just add these bones in. And then that's it. Make sure there's an extra space at the end. Um, the, the tool doesn't seem to quite register it for some reason. Um, so just an extra space at the end and it will know what to read. Once you have all this in place, which will be your AMG folder with your um, model parts with rig data, um, a separate model part folder for any extras you're adding, and um, you shall be able to build the AMG just fine as well with the bone name list, which is optional, but I'll explain that in just a minute. The tool will open up saying welcome to the AMG Builder tool. Simply hit OK. Um, it, it will ask if you have a bone name file to insert. If so, which we do here, you click yes. If not, if we click no, it will ask for the amount of bones we have. So normally if you're counting bones in a text file, this would just make it a bit easier. So we've got body, three bones for arms and hand. So it's four plus the five here makes nine. So including the body bone, you have nine. So the ID for your bones, again, which we already have here. So mine will just be Gok. And it will just go through all the bones as needed. It will say here for bone number one should be body. And then you'll be able to insert the bones just fine from there. We're going to close the tool as we do have a bone name full, uh, file here. So OK, we do have a bone name file. Simply locate it. And it will say up here, Gok body, arm 2, L hand, arm 2, and such. And um, this now will look for the AMG folder. So my new AMG folder is located on desktop. This has model parts 1 and 2. You just simply click the new AMG folder. It will say model parts added to the bone. Then this will start going through every bone to make sure that if there's any model parts uh, to be added. And we do have a bone... Uh, that requires a model part, it uh, will be the left hand bone. So it will go through all the bones, just click uh, yes or no as appropriate. So here, alarm 2 does not have any, however, L hand does. And just keep going through every bone. So for the rest of this, this will have no model parts. And um, it will ask for the amount of model parts for uh, the left hand, there's only going to be one. We'll then ask to find it. Simply locate it and open it, and then say AMG and AMO created. You can close all these folders now, and we can draw our attention to the AMG and AMO. Uh, the AMG is nothing special, it is just an AMG created with the bone data and model data of your um, chosen AMG to build. Uh, so we can see here, I think uh, the first model part was the gloves. No, it was the tail. So this will be the tail model part. And then the next one will be the gloves. Here. And then the next model part will be on its own bone, which will be bone uh, three, I believe. Zero two, so zero zero is body. Zero one was um, left arm two. So, 03 was um, left hand, which makes sense. And it has rig data for every appropriate bone, so this seems to have worked. Uh, this will not have any bone connections. This was has this is a, just a standard AMG uh, built alongside a standard AMO. This is more used for um, merging using the model merger tool, which can also be found in the bootcamp modding server. 
Um, and that concludes how to use the AMG Builder tool. If you have any questions, please leave them in the modding help channel in the Bootcamp modding server and I'll do my best to answer them there. Thank you for watching.